Today at the state capitol, the assembly is set to vote on a bill that would delay redistricting of local political boundary lines for a year or more. So is this considered gerrymandering? NBC 26's Noelle Friel answers that question and shows us why some are advocating for more public input in Wisconsin's redistricting process. If you've never heard of the terms redistricting or gerrymandering, you're not alone. Most folks don't really understand redistricting, how it happens, when it happens. Um, and quite frankly, most times they have uh, just trusted that it happened in a way that benefited them. Redistricting happens once every 10 years when states redraw their congressional districts after the U.S. Census. Population is looked at across the state and districts are redrawn. Gerrymandering occurs when parties alter those districts to manipulate elections. Carlene Beshin of the Wisconsin Fair Maps Coalition says it's happened across the country and both parties have taken part. Both Democrats and Republicans have gerrymandered maps to sustain their own power in state legislatures and also in the Congress. She says she's seen voters from both parties who are concerned about Wisconsin's redistricting process. There's a lot of angst among voters of both parties who don't think that what's happening now is right and a lot of momentum behind getting maps drawn in this in a much more um, responsive way. The People's Maps Commission is an independent commission gathering the public's input on redistricting. People can submit their own district maps and the commission will send that data to the state legislature. What we're trying to do is uh, uh, can create, a, uh, create a conglomerate of all those maps and create a heat map of where those, uh, those lines should be drawn. We want maps that are drawn in a transparent, honest, open manner with public input. In Green Bay, Noel Friel, NBC 26.